Hi guys, Sci-Fi Recapped here. Before we start, warning. Spoilers ahead. Today, I'm gonna explain a 2019 American drama movie called Root of the Problem. The movie begins with a middle-aged man named Paul Campbell who works as a realtor for Rush Real Estate. He always inspects and prepares the house before he sells it, but not always in a proper way. As a result, his customers are always satisfied with his service. After selling the house, he returns to the office and invites his best friend and co-worker, Jack, to come over to a barbecue party at his house. The evening has come and everyone gathers at Paul's place. Paul's wife, Grace, seems to be jealous of Michelle, Jack's wife, as Jack's always buying nice things for her. Turns out that Paul is a very stingy person. His wife isn't even allowed to donate to the children foundation that Michelle runs, thus she only has the chance to do it when he is not around. A few moments later, Grace receives a call from the hospital and is informed that his uncle, John, has just passed away. Uncle John and Grace have been close for a long time, that's why Grace is devastated when she hears the news. Afterward, the couple meets the lawyer to discuss the inheritance that Uncle John left. Pastor Riley, who is Uncle John's best friend, also presents at the meeting room. Paul is shocked when he learns that they will receive a plan instead of money. To make things worse, the lawyer also states that Paul has to sell the uncle's house and all the money will be donated to a kid's camp. The couple are highly disappointed with the result and Paul even wants to immediately throw the plant away. Upon arriving home, Paul gets angry because the inheritance was not as expected and he knows that Uncle John was rich while Grace believes that the plant must be important to the uncle. At the end, he decides to leave the plant outside the house. Apart from being ungenerous, Paul is also an arrogant person as he always mocks Jack every time he makes a sale claiming he is better than him. In the evening, when Grace asks him about Uncle John's house, Paul looks reluctant to sell it because he won't receive any money at all from the sale as it will be donated. In the morning, Paul rebukes his son, Landon, for sharing his food with his friend. His daughter, Carrie, is also fed up with her father's behavior. After buying some drinks from a coffee shop, Paul and Jack encounter an unemployed guy asking for money. As expected, Jack donates several cents to him while Paul isn't willing to give a single penny. Paul, who is envious of a big project Jack is working on, voluntarily offers himself to help him and wants half of the commission after the sales. Because they are best friends, Jack reluctantly agrees to the offer. After work, Paul tidies up the shed and moves the plant there, he then waters the mysterious plant and accidentally discovers that the plant can generate money. He harvests several hundred dollars from it, but suddenly his children and wife approach him. He doesn't tell them about the plant's magic and acts like nothing has happened. Because he promised to help Jack, Paul goes to an old factory that Jack's going to sell where Jack has been raking for a while. They examine the place and Paul concludes that the factory needs some cleaning and repairing. They climb up to the second floor where they find a hole in the railing, which can be dangerous. However, they ignore the problem and cover the hole with a sheet. That night, Paul diligently waters the plant that keeps growing money for him. He enters the house and is panicked when Grace claims that she watered the plant earlier, but she did not find anything strange, which relieves him. The following day, Pastor Riley pays a visit and asks for a donation for the church fundraiser. The entire house is confused with Paul who all of the sudden becomes generous and donates an enormous amount of money to Pastor Riley. Paul even changes his appearances and outfit. Thanks to the plant, Paul keeps harvesting money from it and has become rich. However, he still doesn't want to share the secret to the family. For the first time, Paul gives a lot of pocket money to his children. Carrie and Landon question their dad's behavior and hope that he keeps behaving like that. Paul effortlessly wastes his money for not urgent stuff such as a $5,000 lawnmower. Grace gets angry because she thinks it's unnecessary to buy the vehicle and becomes suspicious as they never had that much money. He admits that he gets the money from the factory's sales commission. After arguing, Paul sneaks into the shed and harvests more and more money. At this point, he has received $100,000 from the plant. Offended by Jack who says that his car doesn't fit his image, Paul immediately buys a brand new 65 grand sports car in cash. Not long after, the car salesman is confronted by a tax officer named Miller due to the car purchase in cash and she wants to conduct a deeper investigation on Paul. He shows off the car to Jack and tells him that he got the money from Uncle John. Paul drives his new sports car home, but it seems like Grace is not happy with it. After dinner, she asks him how much the car costs and realizes that her husband is hiding something from her. Paul ended up having to sleep on the couch. The next day, Pastor Riley comes to Paul and asks for a donation again, but this time he refuses to donate. Riley also learns that Paul hasn't sold Uncle John's house. While Paul is away, 
Detective Miller comes to his house and questions Grace about Paul spending an income. Grace defends her husband, saying that he is the top realtor. Miller then leaves as she prefers to talk directly to Paul. A few moments later, the detective is informed that Paul's income dropped off the last couple years, making it unrealistic to buy a sports car money in cash. She also secretly observes Paul's activities from a distance. Soon after, Paul is depressed when he figures out that the plant has stopped growing money and Grace keeps questioning about where the cash came from. She is freaking out because she is afraid her husband is doing something illegal. Realizing he has done something terrible, Paul pays a visit to Pastor Riley and gives some money for the church fundraiser. Riley lectures him about the law of attraction and advises Paul to help others more often. Paul agrees with him and decides to donate more money. Just after Paul leaves, Detective Miller confronts Riley and finds $10,000 on the desk. Paul is frustrated and suddenly starts reading the Bible since the plant has not generated any money recently. He begins to regret his action and realizes that he is ruining his own life. The next morning, Paul is supposed to accompany his son to his hockey game, but he left early, which makes Landon upset. Paul goes to the coffee shop as usual in this time, he gives some money to the unemployed man, who feels weird seeing the salesman giving free money without any reason. Meanwhile, Miller keeps monitoring Paul's every move. After he leaves, the detective arrests the man after suspecting them of doing a drug deal. Afterward, Paul meets Jack at the factory and asks for his help to cover for him. He also ignores several calls from his wife. Unbeknownst to him, Grace and Carrie head over to the factory where Carrie accidentally falls off and breaks her arm because she didn't know there's a big hole on the railing. Carrie is immediately brought to the hospital by Jack and Grace. In the hospital, Jack knows that it was his fault for not fixing the railing. He also gets angry at Paul and states that he should never listen to Paul. He then walks away. Grace receives a call from Jack's wife who reveals that she has never seen Jack so angry. After that, Paul regrets his decision and apologizes to his wife. In the morning, Carrie is discharged from the hospital and Jack is very happy with the news. However, Landon is disappointed with his dad. Paul admits his mistake and hopes that Landon will give him a second chance. The son eventually forgives him. Shortly after, Detective Miller and an officer come and arrest Paul because she believes he is involved in illegal activity. In the jail, he also meets Pastor Riley and the unemployed man who are also taken into custody for receiving money from Paul. Turns out that Pastor Riley knows about the plant all along and reveals that he was the man who gave Uncle John that plant. He adds that Uncle John was once like Paul, but he was unhappy. Because of that, Uncle John decided to spend most of his money for charitable causes which helped him to find his real destiny. Paul then realizes that he must change into a better person in order for the plant to grow money again. Paul also learns the shocking fact that the kids camp that Uncle John always donated to was run by Grace's parents before they passed away. Thanks to Jack's kindness for explaining the commission from the factory sales to Miller, all of them are then set free. Since then, Paul decides to get involved in the kids camp and donate his brand sports car as a grand prize in a raffle. Everyone, especially Jack and Grace, is proud of him now. At the end of the movie, the family finally has the opportunity to go on a long vacation together and Pastor Riley will take care of the plant from now on. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like to help the channel out. Thank you for watching.